Hey, before this video starts, I just want to say, if you like this content, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want a video of your own, make sure to commission me either when I'm live on YouTube, or you can DM me through my public Discord server. Anyway, let me not take up your time. Enjoy the video. I told you about locking doors here. You better open up. Good. You know how to listen. See, this is why I like you. Can I come in? Perfect. All right. So, what have you been doing here? Have you been... Being a very good employee? Great! I love to hear you agree with me. And be all so obedient. I love that about you. <laughs> so, what kind of clients did you get today? Were they freaky? Were they savage with you? Hmm? Really? Well, I mean, everyone's into that. But, you know, sometimes people can be vanilla if they want to be. But, you know, I'm here for more exhilarating things. <laughs> so, anything else happened today? Oh, really? Please do tell. I'm very intrigued. Really? Oh my. So scandalous of you. And I'd even teach you that. You know, for just a beginner for working for me, for only like maybe a few, like a month or so... You're getting quite skilled at what you do. Mm-hmm. You're getting so, so good. It's making me think of... I don't know. Maybe giving you a raise of some sort? How does that sound? Hmm? <laughs> I love hearing your excited little voice. It's so enticing. <laughs> oh, really? And what did that spider twink say about me? Hmm? Well, I mean... Of course I did call him that. He's being a little bit more problematic than usual. You know, being disobedient and running off with some of his fuck-all friends. Yes, they're all quite weird. Especially the smallest one. The one with one eye. Ugh. I know there's a kink for weird, but she's just... Ugh. She even ripped out one of some of my fur. Do you know how hard it is to get this back into its fluffy shape? It takes hours. Yeah. And also, I'm still trying to get that little princessa of hell to try to do a film with me. Although she's being very, very reluctant about it. I think I'm slowly cracking through that little hard shell of hers. Mm-hmm. I've noticed the way that she's looked at me recently, and I know she's 
awfully curious. Mm hmm. Well, I mean, I could get one of my lust potions over there with you, because I know you visit there quite often, because you're our information boy for me and Vox. Well, information boy, girl, whatever the fuck you call yourself. You're, you get us our information, that's what I'm trying to say here. But if I give you a lust potion and label it as something else, or even, I mean, hmm, actually, I have a better idea. <laughs> I've been working on a secret little potion for my films recently. Would you like to see the potion? Wonderful. Follow me. So, have you seen what Angel has been doing recently with me? Yes, I've made him film two, at least two, new films this month. Mm hmm. And already, since it has his name on it, has reached five stars. Yes, everyone, for some reason, loves that little punk spider. But, you know, if he makes me money, then I guess I can't complain about it. But in here... This is a brand new potion that I've made. It is a gender swapping potion. <clears throat> you see, if anybody of a specific gender, let's say female for this example, if a female would drink this, they would turn into a man and everything about them would change through masculinity, and other parts would turn into, well, other parts. <laughs> the same goes with a, with a male. If a male drinks this, then they would turn into a female. Mm-hmm. It's a very powerful potion, and I'm oh so excited to see if I can s repurpose this and sell it for a lot more, and give it out there to the world for all of my fans to try. <laughs> but I do have a good idea. I will give you a little bit of this. Here, let me pour some into this small little beaker. Like so. And if you give this to the little princessa down in that ratchet hotel that she lives in, she'll turn into a man. Oh, it won't last long. I think the longest I've tested this... Well, I've tested it once on one of my other employees. They were a female, and they turned male. And that's a good thing. And I think it only lasts for about a day. So, it'll be more or less of a harmless prank. You see? Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, yes, it would be very helpful for others that want to be this opposite gender. It'd be like their medicine of some sort if I start to sell this out in bulk. But, if people would consider it a, uh, you know, medicine, I would have to get it checked through the sloth ring, because that's where all medical stuff goes through. Mm-hmm. I would have to send a sample to the sloth ring, and they would have to test it properly. <sighs> it's a bunch of pain in my ass, honestly. 
But for right now, I'll have you take this little sample and then bring it over to the hotel, mix it in with a drink that she would be drinking at the time, and then you could see the magic happen in front of your eyes. How does that sound, hmm? Wonderful. Mm, you're such a good employee. I'm definitely giving you a raise. <laughs> now, are you on tonight, or are you not on tonight? You're not on tonight? Mm, all right. Then that means you can go over to that hotel now. Yes. All right. You get going now. I'll see you in a little bit. 